Aku's grasp chokes the past, present, and future. Hope is lost. Gotta get back. Back to the past. Samurai. <laughs> Skippy here, and welcome to One Piece episode 910. Directed by young Nagamine mentor director Satoshi Ito, and supervised by former character designer Kazuya Hisada. Since this episode will largely be focused on the flashback to what happened 20 years ago that set the Nine Red Scabbards forward to the Wano of the future, it'll most likely focus on studying direction in storyboards supported by good art instead of animation, with the preview showing cool color choices from Ito that are reminiscent of his mentor and series director Tatsuya Nagamine, and bold and sharp art from Hisada that defined his tenure as character designer before Matsuda's more rounder approach. They both sure do have a tough act to follow being placed right after a fantastic episode from our co-series director Aya Komaki, so will Ito and Hisada's skills alone be enough to keep this streak of quality going? Well, for the love of Odin, let's find out. <laughs> This episode covers the first 11 pages of chapter 920, and it's practically one-to-one -one in terms of the progression of events, but Satoshi Ito decides to adapt things a bit differently in terms of showing what's going on in the flashback. Rather than just having most of the Odin stuff be somewhat of a still as Kinemon is talking to the group, Ito decides to visualize it all instead, and gives the anime a bit of a premature look at Odin and his actions of the past, along with some of Kinemon and the rest of the scabbards and Royal as well. Now, while it does feel like these small additions could end up causing issues in terms of retconning once we get to the eventual Odin flashback, I feel like it does a lot in order to grab the viewer and engross them more in the episode. Due to Odin being characterized a lot more than he was in the manga for this chapter, all the while being accompanied by some pretty cool visuals, I feel like it hits home a lot more. It humanizes Odin more, which gives us more of a reason to pay attention to the overall backstory as it's depicted right now. And that alone makes it leaps and bounds over what other episodes do in terms of adaptation, despite the possible issues that this may cause later on with an eventual flashback. Aside from a few small instances where Kiku was nowhere to be seen despite her being present in the manga, I'd have to say that I'm overall satisfied with the adaptation this week. With his latest offering, Satoshi Ito continues to impress me with his strong storyboarding skills. Whether it be his great sense of scale, nice as hell transitions, or really well done compositions that are made even better by his effective usage of color and compositing, Satoshi Ito knows how to make a visually satisfying dialogue episode that's quality is heightened even more so thanks to his wonderful atmospheric direction and absolute love of using any type of cool compositing that he can to make an impact. With the introduction of Dog Storm and Cat Viper, Odin's rescue and takeover of Curry, and the entire end of the flashback standing out in that regard. It all just looks so vibrant and impactful, and it goes a long way in what is making otherwise a pretty visually lacking episode on the animation front stand out. And while I feel like Hisada was a bit off in this episode due to still transitioning to Matsuda's rounder and wider designs, along with the work he's been doing in past episodes, with his sharp and angular looking style looking a tad bit deformed in places, Ichikawa and Matsuda still manage to apply another level of polish to the episode, which puts a nice bow on things to deliver an episode that successfully manages to be what it should be. A very solid and well-directed episode despite nothing amazing going on in the animation department. It didn't do more than it needed to and it wasn't lacking in a lot of departments, and while I wish that Ito would get a more animated episode once in a while, I really have 
no complaints here. Heading into next week, we should be getting more or less the same type of episode with a bit of an interesting touch, with episode 911 coming from new episode director Daisuke Nakajima and supervisor Masahiro Kitazaki. The preview itself doesn't have too much to go off of in terms of what Nakajima's skills are like, so it'll be interesting to see if I'm dead on or dead wrong. Anyways guys, that's it for now, I'm Skippy, and I'm betting that Ichikawa will probably correct Nami's Wano outfit reveal. Let's see if I end up being right. Thank you.